Yeah. I do oh, believe I was he's going to. I believe he I got to send yeah. you guys. Do you see the fucking Trump? The most recent la- rally. I don't no. care how you feel about Trump. The guy's funny as fuck. Yeah, he's hilarious. You cannot deny. Hilarious. I said that on stage. When he oh. called Kim Jong-un little rocket man was the funniest hilarious. thing I've ever heard in my life. Hilarious. Play the Trump thing. Let's see. Bro, look at this. I, I reposted it. Oh, you did? Holy shit. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> it's on my Twitter. He's so ridiculous. It, it, this had me fucking howling last night. I woke them up. I woke Mark and Alex up in the Airbnb just to watch this video. Go down, go down, go down. This one right here. This her beer deal where she said, oh, go to the beginning. Go to the beginning. He's talking about Elizabeth Warren. Remember when she had that video? Anybody see her beer deal where she said, oh, darling. You ever see that deal? Darling, it's about her husband. Darling, it's great to see you. What are you doing here? It's like, that's her husband. He's supposed to be living in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Turn this up a little bit. I don't think she's seen him in 10 years. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Can I get a beer? Let's get a beer. You know, she wants to be one of the group. Hey, let's get a beer. Did you ever see such a phony, disgusting... (laughs) (laughs) Bro, this is the president. (laughs) He was hard in the paint, man. Bro, he called Buttigieg Alfred E. Newman. Yeah, hilarious. Hilarious. The bad magazine guy. The, the impeachment stuff just feels like it's just it's like such a waste of time. And but that's why he's doing this. That's why he keeps up this because this is offensive. his superpower. What'd is you say? Growing. Gotta go on the offensive. Dude. Yeah. The thing about him is that he never is like, and it's actually a brilliant strategy. I never realized it, but like he never defends himself. No. No. He just attacks. And uh-huh. the brilliant thing about it is no facts, again, nothing. Just attacks. And people who listen, anybody who listens to politics, they they've act like fucking children. Like we're discussing politics without putting our personal opinion on politics. We're just talking. You're about so right lucky now, right? Brian Callen's not here to destroy this podcast with the Yeah, he, well, he ruins almost every one of these shows, by the way. <laughs> I've said that a million times. That motherfucker just but, ruins but, this show. But you know what I'm saying? So so it's like what he does is an interesting strategy, right? Somebody says something about him. Yeah. He's been in pseudo politics but also entertainment, entertainment. for years yeah. he knows like you said earlier everybody's a phony piece of shit yeah so when excuse me, when the biden say the ukraine thing with him he's like are you talking about me in ukraine he's like we talking about mamas we talking about mamas we talking about mamas like he's that motherfucker yeah. that yeah. he's gonna go hard so and all these people got dirt i yes. think it was i forget exactly who said it but politics is a mudslinging contest right but he's made of mud. Yeah. He's made of mud. Everybody else wearing the he white shirt, the white it. pants. Yeah. He's made of mud. Well, you know what's brilliant? He does the exact same thing that like, we've talked about this before about, he does the same thing that clever people in comedy or entertainment do. When somebody attacks us, instead of us attacking them, I let my fans go after them. So I just walk away. So what he does, what's smart is when someone right. goes, Trump X, Y, Z, he doesn't comment on it. His fucking fan base mm. They do all the Fox News does all of his work for him yep. that he didn't even ask him to do. Yeah. Yep. They just go do it. It's weird. It's like when somebody says Andrew Schultz sucks, if you just retweet that, watch what happens to that guy from yeah. your fans. Yeah, your fans. Yeah. You don't need to do They'll it. They'll eat him. Yeah, you don't need to. So he but does never, the same thing. I never retweet because I don't want them to even think I saw it. I just want yeah, them I mean, to But you know what I mean. Of course. Yeah, but you give the power to the people. So 100%. Trump's smart enough to just go, watch this. Watch what fucking. But he'll slap back. back to, oh yeah, he does. He'll slap back. But he does the people. Like, yes, it, he picks and depends on how powerful they are. Exactly. Yes. So yeah. if you have no power, he's not talking about you nah. unless he can use what you said to leverage. Yep. Right. Right. So like, it's just interesting. Whoever bubbles up is like somebody who's a who's like a pretty good front runner, etc. He'll start to take shots at. He'll start yeah, 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 yeah. Like, and Elizabeth then shoots Warner, him down. And then goes on one after, and then. They, these people, these like politicians, most of these politicians are coddled. They're not like fucking real men. You know right. what I mean? They're like, they're guys who have like rich fucking dads and that kind of shit. They never had ball. No one roasted them. No, no roasting, they no nothing. In they had a rooms. cushy fucking life. Yeah. They got into Yale probably because of some nepotism shit. And then all of a sudden you're on stage and this goofball with a fucking, Lighten you up. dude, destroying you. Orange yeah. face. Dude, orange White face. Ass. His neck idiot. like a fucking down syndrome. Roasting the fuck yeah. out of you. Dude, yeah. and they have, they just crumble. Yeah. Have you ever, been, like, wait, when you're in the, the line of fire mm. with someone who knows how to roast, it's it, over. It gets unless you got it. It's over. You no, see, dude. we've seen. You see it firsthand. It's ugly as fuck. When he does the Democratic, when he fucking, I can't wait. I can't wait. When he like lines up the Democrats and Duh. it's so <laughs> firing squad. I, I yes. enjoy it myself, man. Dude, I can't wait. I want. But, the but here's the thing: is Me like, too. He, I think he just. Uh, I think we all know what he knows is that he didn't fucking. He didn't want to be president. He was surprised that he won president. He just wanted to be able to f- 
talk shit and run all the way up the flagpole. And when he got up there, it he happened. was like, he's oh, like, oh, I fuck. guess I'm the best. And I then that solidified him being like, I am I, the best. I, I mean, also, he's got to have also, an ego. He's got to have an ego right now. But, but yeah, before, yeah. See, now, but it's, I, now it's fucking. I don't think, I think he thought, all right, I do four years, I'm getting the fuck out. But now he's like, oh, you don't think I can do it? Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, think it's he, a challenge. I don't think he wants to do it. Yeah, I, if they would have went, oh no, you stay, man. He'd be like, ah, oh, fuck it, I'm out. But now everyone goes, dude, you're the worst president ever. He's like, oh really? I'm gonna be miserable. I'm staying another four. Watch, years. he's gonna make, he's yeah. gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna make some law where he can go three terms. He'll just shut the fuck up the system. Oh, dude, he did He'll that. Like, that's, on the, that's on the tweet. He, he said that he goes. Uh, he goes. So he goes. 2020, 2024, 2028. <laughs> yeah. And he goes. I'm just kidding. These stupid people, MSNBC. They they're gonna act like it's real. I'm just kidding. Maybe I'm not though. Maybe we go for it. <laughs> 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 you do the he's guy's funny. Crazy. It's such a goof, man. <laughs> but you can't even admit he's funny because then these fucking idiots start going, "Oh, you agree with every one of his policies?" This and that. No, I don't no. agree with every comic, but I can say they're funny. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of comics that are hilarious. It's just the the idea now is people are afraid to be even associated with him because they think that you're you you are backing up what he he's says. He's radioactive, so if you say anything good about a radioactive substance, you must be radioactive. Mm -hmm. People, right? Point their and guns. then when they just make you radioactive, yep. nobody wants to talk to but you. But when we say this, by the way, we're referring to an extremely small percent of the population. Correct. The more the talk to, the more people I talk social, to when you travel. You're talking about country, social media. Yes, the more people you talk to in this fucking country, they have they have enough sensibility to know yeah. that we're talking about this thing in comedic light, and yeah. they know what you know is. They're fucking. They joke about the same shit. They go, yes. "You see what this fucking?" There's a, a normal Democrat in the middle of this country would say the same thing. They go, "This shit was hilarious." Did you see this fucking bozo yeah, shit? Yes. Yeah, because they're they have sensibility. But we're talking about the mind, the minority of social media that loses their mind over nothingness. Right? Yeah. They're very small. We see them as large because they're in our face every day, and we're in this fucking bullshit business. But dude, you go to most of the country, they get it. They get it a lot more. Because they deal with it differently. We we're just absorbed by Twitter. We're like we're, we're we have to live inside of this fucking this 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 echo chamber sphere of like you're either on this side or you're on this side. And so, if you're one of those I'm things, jealous of those comedians who don't deal with it. There's a few comedians who don't deal at all with deal Instagram with what? or social media that the the whole social world. There's yeah, yeah. Who Yo, you know what it is. A few. There's a few. Not a lot. Even Burr is on fucking Instagram now. It's like some of those guys avoided it forever, but and then you got to do it. Finally, got you, into you it. You kind of, you kind of have it's to part do of it. it. It's like, it's, it's honestly, it's no different than any sport. It's like as the sport evolves, you need to learn more things. Like what happened in MMA? All of a sudden, these wrestlers start to come in, and people are like, "Oh shit, I better learn how to." You gotta get on the ground. Oh yeah, I gotta yeah. learn how to do that wrestling. I too. think it's weird when you hear like some comics go, "I'm not gonna do the fucking Instagram humor. That, that's a waste of time, man." Like I just do it on the stage. I'm like. Now, here you, you don't go. want to be a cop. Or, 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 cop. or they go, yeah. well, the only reason he sells tickets is because he has a su successful comedy podcast. I'm like, no, I, I get it, dude. That's the game. Like, you don't want to be a comic. Evolve. When everyone says, when evolve. anybody says, the you don't only want to reason be that he Simple XYZs is out. immediately followed by a jealous nonsense statement that doesn't mean anything. Correct. The only reason that Schultz gets, the yeah. only reason that shop, the only reason statements are cop outs for their insecurities of yeah. jealousy of whatever but the fuck it is. Justifying where they are in the, yeah. in the game. But the reality of the matter is like, as the game changes, you need to do what it takes to succeed within it. Right, and if you want to play basketball, you need to have a trainer that comes with you all year round. Yeah, LeBron yeah. pays his trainer all year round, and the elite NBA players do that. This is a requirement for the new NBA. Back in the day, you could wear Converse. Right now, yeah, 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 yeah. Watch your tone. Oh, okay, what's gonna happen? What are you gonna do? Use some of that. <laughs> Boxing you've been doing? Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucking disrespect. <laughs> hey. Hey.